Well, my friends, here we are again in the woods. I'm planning on spending uh, five nights, six days out here. Colin, Colin gave me a hand, brought out a lot of stuffs. <laughs> I had a freight toboggan full and uh, this buddy right here. <laughs> so I didn't tape the set up. We did, uh, Colin did a bunch of wood for me while I was setting up, so very appreciate it. We're out here. Freight toboggans hidden in the woods there. So right now I don't have the stove going. We got the tent set up. Goose is a little bit chilly, so it's nice and warm in here. I got enough stuff to do me for a week out here. I got the heater buddy going, and that thing's just a pumping out some heat. I got it on low. That should be nice. Well, everything's good. This time we built it in with some stakes. Off the tent it worked a lot better. So the plan for now, I'm going to finish cutting up this wood, pack everything up nice and neat around the tent, and then uh, load some wood in here. Probably get the stove going here in, a, in an hour or two. Try to save this for overnight. Oh, it is December the, I don't know, 23rd. So I'm gonna be out here for five five nights. I cut up some uh, some celery and an onion and potato and stuff like that to make a nice soup for Christmas dinner. And the piece piece de resistance in that is uh, chicken hearts. I'll fry some chicken hearts up. I got enough for one fry up of chicken hearts, and I also got enough to put in the soup. So uh, if you're if you're if you're not into that, you might want to not watch that part. <laughs> Anyway, chicken hearts are delicious. The rest of it's all dehydrated meals, so pastas, stuff like that. Got some cliff bars. Um, what else do I got? Yeah. Soup, cliff bars, dehydrated meals, some bacon and eggs, stuff like that. So for now, right now, I'm gonna finish setting up, pack everything up good, and then I'll get at that wood. Day one. I'm already ready to go home. It's cold out here. <laughs> so I'm going to process a bit of wood. Goose is inside getting warm. I got the uh, the heater buddy going on low for her. So I'll keep the tent in there pretty warm right now. Now I'm going to cut up a bit of wood so I can get the fire going. I got enough here to last me the day and night. So I'll run her today and tonight and then go get some more wood in the morning. Or maybe tomorrow afternoon when it's a little bit warmer. I think right now it's about, it's pretty mild. It might be minus 12, something like that, with the wind chill. So it's not too bad. So let's get at her. Got a new pair of leopard print. Winter mittens? No, just kidding. I guess they're camel. I got them for Christmas from my mother-in-law. Thanks, thanks a lot, ma'am. I'm gonna use them for cutting wood. I decided I'm not into the boiling up snow, melting snow. I brought 30 liters of water. It weighed a ton. But I'll tell you one thing, that freight toboggan was wicked. I barely even felt all that gear on there. It, it was pretty good. The only thing is, if I had to pack everything in that pole, have, you know, Colin brought out that other one, it would have been up a little bit too high, so I gotta learn to, to manage without some stuff, but I'm out here for six days, so <laughs> I'd like to have uh, some decent stuff for six days. <laughs> a few knots in that one, that one should last a while. Fire. Lots of nuts.
Well, this should get the fire going anyway. And some medium sized ones to get her going good. All right, my friends, it's time to get that fire going. You can see my breath. We're gonna put some of the old wood that used to be, well, that I had here before. Put that in there. And there's a base. And then we'll get a nice fire going on top of that. Or not. Let's save this one for a little bit later. We'll put this one in. Put that there. And this old skunky one over here. off of them. There we go. If you can see that we got a nice little base there to go. My egg cartons. Get the fire going. Nothing fancy here folks. <laughs> Nothing bushcrafty about it. The nice thing about the wood stove, you burn all your garbage. Oh, we'll put some of that in there. I think that might be a bit damp. I know those egg cartons aren't damp. Ooh, look at them go. One good time that you gotta like softwood. <laughs> she does light up pretty good. There's not much moisture in the in the wood at all. It's nice. those catch then we'll hit it with the bigger one we'll save these ones for tomorrow morning or maybe later tonight all depends uh, get a couple of decent ones ready size so let's let that catch throw one half decent one in there try not to kill it then inside open up by vents dampers open and away she goes Well, we'll get that fire going a little bit. Goose will be happy. She's over here. The little heater buddy kept her warm for a while. She's under blankets having a nap. Probably missing Jake. <laughs> oh, there we go. 
Got a little bit of wood cut up. If all else fails. Oh, heater buddy. What a great investment. Whew. It was toasty warm in here and it was only on uh, low. So I guess you can get 12 hours per tank. It's got two tanks. You can get 12 hours per tank on low. Medium and high will just roast you. That's nice. It's a nice alternative. And it's also nice while you're waiting for this to get going. Anyhow, that's enough of that. I'm just going to uh, get that fire going. Go back out and do some more wood. And it's one o'clock in the afternoon, but Goose hasn't had lunch yet. <laughs> I'm going to wait till she's up from her nap to have lunch. Come on, toasty fire. Show us what you got. Oh, yeah. She's nice and warm in the tent now. Fire's going. It's pretty warm. Goose had a nap. She just had lunch. She's happy. So we're gonna do a little more wood while we're waiting. Where'd you go, buddy? Hey? Where'd you go? You going back to bed? Seriously, go and steal that on me. Goose gone back in. She has her own cot, her own blankets, but of course she's wet and laying on my sleeping bag. <laughs> but there's enough heat in there now just pumping that whatever she gets wet, doesn't matter. <laughs> Don't matter at all. She is toasty warm in here. For some reason the dog keeps wanting over here. 
Oh, by the way, in case you're watching there, John, sorry, buddy. I had her on the fire when I lit her up. Got a little burn on the bottom, ripped, burnt that area. Still got the back. I think it adds character. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. It adds character. Some, uh, some lunch out for me. I think I'll go with uh, dehydrated something or other. Here's Christmas dinner. Carrot, celery, potatoes, parsnips, salt and pepper. So I'm going to make a nice stew uh, with the chicken hearts. But that'll be uh, not tomorrow. Oh, maybe Christmas Eve. Maybe Christmas Eve for supper. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Anywho. Time for some snacks. Well, there's one thing you can't go with or without when you're in the woods. Canned Vienna sausage. Normally, normally I buy uh, the knockoff brand, but I figured, hey, it's Christmas. I'll pay freaking two bucks a can for this stuff. And I know my mutt here will probably want some too, once she gets a sniff of it. Can you imagine getting cut by this right here and ruin your whole trip because you, because of some friggin' <laughs> can of Viennas? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pour the juice into her cup because I know she's going to want to drink it. Oh, exciting times. Oh, buddy. Icy cold, too. Mm-hmm. You can't beat that. What do you think? I think she agrees. Finger licking? Oh. I think they're even better when they're freezing cold. Get another one in there, buddy. It's the food of the bush. Oh, by no means is Maple Leaf Vienna Sausage sponsoring me, <laughs> but if they did, I wouldn't complain. I'd do whatever they wanted <laughs> for a lifetime of Vienna Sausages. Oh my God. One left. I'll give you half. Maybe you had like three sausages now. Hmm? Eh? <laughs> the old 
wind's picking up. It's getting a nice drink now. Are you thirsty? <laughs> For Vienna sausage juice here. Are you thirsty girl? You mix it with your food or something, but you already ate. Do I have to hold this for you? Oh my god, Goose. You're gonna be all hopped up on the Vienna sausage. Hmm? I don't know if you can hear that, but bloop, 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 bloop. It's like a machine on it. Is it dry enough yet? How's that? You're not going to get any more out of it. That's it, buddy. Oh, that was nice. Well, my wife, being who she is, <laughs> she, uh, she picked up a couple of craft beer for me for this trip. And I think the one that she, uh, she prefers the most because she considers me one. It's called Pompous Ass English Ale. <laughs> I'm sure when she saw that, she thought of me, Pompous Ass. It's 4.2%, so it's a mile, it's fairly mild. Great Lakes Brewery, it says, Pompous Ass is our version of an English pale ale. We use an American ale yeast to brighten up the flavor and add our own contemporary blend of hops to ensure that even the most pompous ale drinker does a double take. And it's out of Toronto, Ontario. Great Lakes Brewery. So we'll give that a shot. Oh. Even though I think she's the pompous ass because I told her I prefer lagers to ale, but she got me three of them. Oh, smells really sweet. It's not bad though. Not bad at all. And you're not getting any. I'm sure you want to lick the can, but you're not getting any, bud. It's not too bad for an ale, sweetie. And we'll make it even better. Put it in this rustic <laughs> cozy that I burnt on the fire. I burnt the bottom. Thanks again for the cozy, John. Like I said before, it adds character, buddy. I mean, come on. Look at that. I got a uh, I got a book from, or not from, but um, by Kevin Callan. I don't know if you ever seen him on YouTube. The, I think it is KC Happy Camper. The guy's pretty friggin' cool. I'd like to have half the experiences that this guy got. Anyway, he did a, a complete guide to winter camping. I think he's done a few, a few books. I'm gonna have a read of this one. See everything that I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Looks pretty good. I know a lot of the stuff that he does with the kids uh, in Algonquin and stuff like that. I got a lot of respect for him. Pretty cool stuff. And the adventures this guy's had is, is, is unreal. He's got a YouTube channel, so check that out. Uh, KC Happy Camper. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just good times. It's really, really feel good stuff. Anyway. Not to get all sappy or anything, but I'm going to read this. That'll give me some light reading and find out everything that I'm doing in here wrong and maybe improve. <laughs>
she's a little cold out. You can see in the sky, starting to get overcast. It's about four o'clock, I think. Three thirty, four o'clock. So it's starting to uh, get chilly. to smelling all uh was it deer tracks or coyote let me have a look bud let me have a look stop come here that my friend is deer Oh, we're totally off trail because she's following these friggin' deer tracks. Come on, bud. Let's go down this way. Come on. We need to follow those. Come on, goose. In a complete circle. And we're gonna head down here. Get some more tracks here. By the looks of those, this coyote tracks. It's not deer. Look like little dog prints, so I'm assuming they're coyote. Look at this place. Oh, a little bit of hardwood down here. I think tomorrow I'll come and cut a bit of the hardwood down. There's some dead stuff back here. Well, we've been going for about a half hour now. We're just heading back. Didn't see anything, but it was a nice little walk anyway. I think we'll, uh, we'll head up the field and see if there's anything up that way. What do you think, buddy? Yeah. Just probably thinking, hmm. After this, it's supper. <laughs> Where'd you go, buddy?
That was a nice little walk. Hey. Hey, come here. Oh. Gonna have to gain some weight, my goose. So it was a nice little walk. We spent about an hour. Everywhere we went, we hit a deer stand. Went that way, hit a deer stand. Went over that way, hit a deer stand. Across the road, deer stands. So lucky enough there wasn't anybody in them. I think there's somebody in one just down that way because I can hear them. Uh... Yeah, I can hear them using one of the deer calls. So it's going to get dark in about a half hour from now anyway, so... Hey, where are you going? My wood. <laughs> so we're just going to relax. Hang out here for a bit, not go too far. Uh, she stole a log of wood from inside. Or from over there, anyway. What's up, buddy? What are you smelling? What do you smell? Hey, okay. you want to go inside for a while? Warm up a little bit? <laughs> Look at the face on it. Do you think that wants to go in? Hey, Goose, you want to go inside? Warm up? Uh, she's ready for something. Come on, tough guy. <laughs> so, we're going to head in, warm up a bit, maybe get some supper on the go. Ooh, she's warm in there. Nice. Come on in, buddy. Oh, we're going to die in here. She's all swamping up. Try to get rid of as much snow as I could, but I'd say by tomorrow we should have her dried out. Be nice. What do you think, bud? I'm just gonna eat some grass. <laughs> Alright. Whatever you want, pal. Well, that walk was pretty fun. I swear to God, everywhere we went there was deer stands. We go 200. 200 meters that way, deer stand. 200 meters that way, deer stand. 200 meters that way, deer stand. Oh, lucky enough there wasn't anybody in them. And was, uh, talking to Colin on the <laughs> text and I mentioned it and he's like, yeah, great hunters. <laughs> all the deer tracks are going off, and the deer tracks are actually going to every one of those stands. The trails that they've got cut so that they can get back to their stands are actual deer runs so there's deer tracks everywhere going down right to those people's stands but yet there's deers everywhere <laughs> kills me so anyway tonight for supper speaking of deer and getting hungry I got some high dehydrated pasta it's left over from the summer and we're gonna eat that tonight for supper. We're saving the chicken hearts and uh, all the good stuff for tomorrow, Christmas Eve. So tonight we're gonna have a nice pasta. Goose is gonna have kibble, probably. Probably some pasta too. Hey bud, you gonna have some kibble? Yeah, I know you want the pasta. Uh. Oh, she's nice and toasty warm in here. Not too hot. I put some uh, full rounds in there, so they've been slowly burning, and it's nice. It's not hot, hot, hot. I got the door wide open, so obviously it's not that hot, but... Uh, just trying to conserve as much wood as I can for tomorrow. But I'm going to head down that way tomorrow. 
instead of going across the street because there's some hardwood down there I'll get that stuff going <coughs> so tonight some nice pasta ground beef zucchini take about uh, <coughs> take about a half hour for this to dehydrate for this to hydrate so I'm just gonna leave it on the stove kind of warm warm it up a bit try to make it a bit quicker <coughs> excuse me you get in your eye yeah Take your coat off. Dry your coat out for the next run. So right now, I'm just going to wait for this to hydrate up a bit. Keep the door open. I like having the door open because uh, you can just watch outside and stuff. It's It's nice. I can hear a bit of rain, or rain or snow. Let me just check. So she's just starting to snow a little bit, which is nice. It's not uh, it's not the big fluffy stuff that we love, but uh, <laughs> it's more like a freeze and rain. Temperature's still up. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I'd say she's probably about minus 10, so it's pretty warm. Minus 10 Celsius. We're gonna sit here and listen to some uh, some freezing rain, some snow hit the tent. Wind's blowing around a little bit. Show you around. So, like I said, it's not that nice. It's not that nice stuff, but I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll try to clear it up, but it's just starting a little bit. Got our pot of dehydrated pasta ready. Just gooping up there. Everything's packed up. That's how much wood we have for tonight. Which I'm sure will be plenty, because I'll be snoozing and it'll it'll run out. I'll turn the heater buddy on tonight. Put the heater buddy over in the corner. You'll see it over there on the right. All goose's stuff. Everything's packed up underneath. Camera batteries are charging. And then there's us. What do you think, bud? What do you think, bud? Tell everybody what you think. You like being out in the woods, buddy? Hmm? You like being out in the woods? <laughs> You're a good dog, man. Yes, you are. She had a little sip of my beer earlier, so... She might... She might be feeling ants. Oh, getting tired. <laughs> well, it's five o'clock. It's starting to get dark out. The beauty of winter camping. Dark by five. Well, it's still light out, but not too bad. It's starting to get dark. I don't know if you can see her, but old goose is pushed straight into me, snuggling in. I don't know why she's so lazy. <laughs> she played a bit today with Jake, and then uh, we did just go for about an hour or so, hour and a bit's walk. Uh, probably tired her out. The wood stove probably doesn't help much either. Man, all I gotta say is this is great. I mean, I miss Terry. I miss my old lady, but oh man, there's something about being out here in the woods. Snow all around. Going for a walk. Cooking up. 
cooking up a meal on the stove, having a coffee, or having a cold beer. Dog's a different dog out here too. Deuce is a total different dog. She's more loyal. She doesn't uh, get into anything like she does back home. Getting into everything in the house and acting up. She's totally, well, I shouldn't say totally loyal, but she's pretty loyal. She sticks with me. Mm. Man's best friend, buddy. Man's best friend. You're my buddy, aren't you? Yeah. Haven't fed her any chicken hearts yet, so she hasn't got the farts. I'm happy. <laughs> so I'll have one more look around before it gets too dark. I know on the camera it doesn't look too bad, but it is getting dark out. If you have a look over here, you can see the clouds moving in. Pretty dark ones. Pretty dark clouds moving in. So hopefully we'll get a bit of snow. See that wood stove just... Oh yeah. You know she's toasty in there. If you look right between those trees... See that moon. a nice uh, nice Mac tonight moon <laughs> quarter moon or whatever you want to call it oh this is out now for a pee buddy <laughs> I'm sure she smells those deer. Hey pal, having a big stretch? Yeah, a big old stretch, eh? <coughs> She's looking for a bush now to go have a pee. I won't tape you, buddy. Just want to see where you're going. She never goes around the camp. She always goes off trail to goes off trail to use the bathroom. Gotta love that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. She's moving, but not too fast. But she is chilly out. I'm sure it'd be a lot colder. I'm sure it'd be a lot colder if it was windy or if the sky was clear. We should get some snow. Not goose, we should get some snow, eh buddy? Don't go too far. Time to stay in now, buddy. She's cold. She's cold and supper's coming. <laughs> so I'm going to leave the toboggan out for the night. Leave this out. My gear and that. Colin's tent. Or Colin's tent. Colin's chair. Oh, yeah. It's time to go back in. Come on, bud. Hey, Goose. It's time to go in, buddy. Getting a chill. <laughs> Come on, we'll go in for a bit. Okay? Maybe it's sniffing everything. Ooh. Ooh. It's a little bit dark in here. Hey, Goose. Coming in, buddy? I'm going to have some supper soon. 
Come on. <laughs> I can hear her out there chewing the wood. Hey, Goose. Come on, buddy. Here she comes. Hey, pal. Come on, man. And get some supper going here in a minute, buddy. <laughs> He's sniffing around looking for something. Well, that's it for the night. Supper is cooked. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is delicious. So I'm going to have some, uh, some supper here. I'm going to feed the dog and uh, that'll be it for the night. I'm going to go back to reading the book and stuff. So we'll see you folks in the morning. Say see you folks. See you folks in the morning. <laughs> morning. Morning and day two. Yeah. Slept pretty good. I was going to use the heater buddy to, to keep the, the chill out overnight, but I kept, I kept waking up. I kept waking up every hour or so, just putting wood in. I don't know. I wasn't planning on it, but that's how it went. But in between that, between putting wood in the stove, I, I slept pretty good. Poor old goose has slept for God, I don't know how long. She's finally happy. She's out there playing now. So anyway, I think it's about 7:30 in the morning. Get some coffee on and get some breakfast going. Try to bring myself back to life. Anyhow, that's, that's all I got for now. I'm kind of tired, so we'll tape later on. Welcome to day two. Getting some breakfast ready, and uh, Goose is hanging out here, of course. <laughs> she smells it. Coffee just started perking. The only downfall in here, in these tents, is that, well, the snow dries up and it turns to mud, especially where you're walking. You can see most of the snow is gone in here. It's not too bad. But right there where I've been sitting, it's all mud. So if you see my shoes. But more importantly, more importantly, coffee brewing, bacon sizzling. And somebody's waiting for something. <laughs> It's a nice morning out there, a bit of sun, it's pretty mild, I'm going to uh, check the temperature later on and see what it's like, but for now, let's get this stuff going, hey bud, yeah.
Well, Christmas Eve, and I gotta work. <laughs> it's not too bad out now, it's about minus 10, minus 11, so it's pretty mild. I'm gonna put Goose's uh, sweater on because she's out playing a lot now. We just went down, took a, took a nice dead tree that was uh, leaning across. It's leaning across and then another tree, so we brought that down. And uh, I'm gonna cut this up now. Put it in the put it in the tent and warm it up. I gotta change the uh, the coals and clean up my stove. Last night the uh, because of the softwood and the way that it burns, uh, the damper. So it was partial. I had it almost closed, but open about this much, and it all collected with soot. So it started smoking inside. So I gotta clean that out. Make sure I open the damper just a little extra tonight. I know it's going to burn the wood a little faster, but we'll keep the soot out. Also on the the rain de, rain uh, spark arrester, I guess not rain deflector, but spark arrester. I imagine that's clogged up with a bit of ash too. So we're going to dump that out, clean it up, cut up this wood. By then it should be uh, time for some lunch or something. Come here, buddy. Do you need your sweater on? You cold? Yeah, we we'll put your sweater on. One thing I learned is, uh, especially with the winter camping, it's not a race. Take your time. As long as I got enough wood there to keep me warm tonight, I can always dress warm during the day or, well, right now while it's not too cold. As long as I got enough wood to last the night, I just need to pick away at it. Do like, uh, I don't need to cut enough wood to last me the five days. All I gotta do is cut enough wood to last me all day, the night, and then a little extra just in case. In case it gets down too cold. So it's important to take a little break every now and then. I got no issues doing that now. Besides the sun is up, it's nice. I stole Colin's chair. Oh, I think I'm just gonna hang out here for a little while before I start the um, start cutting the wood. Have a cup of coffee. Do you want your coat? Come here, bud. Let me see. What you got? Come here. You need your coat yet? Come here, bud. Come on. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see it. Come here. You gonna give me that piece of wood? Goose. Here, bud. Look. Come here. Come. <laughs> you big weirdo. Look at this piece. That's a nicer one. Hey. Ready? <laughs> ah, she found it. It was buried in a big deep piece of... in a deep, bit of deep snow. Stay away from that, bud.
not too cold out, but uh, I got the fire going again. Goose was in there <laughs> laying on the bed shivering. Put a blanket on her, but blue. So I figure I'll get the fire going, let her warm up a bit. Boy, that wood's smoky. Oof. out. <laughs> she saw me starting to do some work, eh? See me doing some work and then you gotta come out. Get in the way. You gotta come out and get in the way, don't you? Well, all the firewood's cut up for today. I'm not going to bother cutting or cutting down anymore until tomorrow. I got enough for tonight, well, for the rest of the day and tonight, and enough for uh, tomorrow morning, I would imagine. It's uh, 12:30 in the afternoon. That sun that was up there for a while starting to go away. You can feel the temperature drop just a little bit. So I kept taking breaks. Start to get a little chilly, go back to work. Goose been in there sleeping the whole time. <laughs> she come out once, I think, to run around, have a pee in that, and went back in. So I guess that's camping for her, too. <laughs> We're going to have some lunch and then uh, probably go out for another little walk. Maybe take some pictures and stuff like that. So that's it, everything's put back, neatened up, well, this was my working area here, if you can see, I hate the look of that when you come into camp, I like fresh white snow, but what are you going to do? So in about three hours they say it's going to start snowing, and we're going to get uh, I think up to 10 centimeters tonight, and then another 10 to 15 tomorrow. I'll believe it when I see it, but sure would be nice. All the gear is put away. And go inside. Of course, this is Goose's bed over here. And where is she? Right in front of the fire. Can you hear her snore? she snore. Well, there's a bit of wood that we cut up for tonight and well, there's plenty there I imagine. Right now I'm gonna make some linguine with uh, Italian sausage. 
for some lunch. Get Goose some lunch and then we'll head out. Yeah. I guess I'll sit on her dog bed for a minute. Her dog caught. Look at the state of my sleeping bag. Look at the freaking paw prints. Muddy paw prints. <laughs> well, that's it for now. So that's it for now. I'm gonna have some lunch. Put this thing away, have some lunch. Day two, Christmas Eve. I got a little tree up front I'm gonna show you, but I forgot to bring the decorations. Oh, right in front of the tent. There she is, my Christmas tree. Put a couple of bulbs on it and have a little Charlie Brown tree. I should probably pack the snow around it. Pack down the snow around it and leave enough room for the presents from Santa tonight. <laughs> All right. There's that little bit of sun. A little bit of sun. I have my lunch, so next up is Goose. She actually let me sit there and eat my whole lunch. It was unreal. So the leftover bit of pasta I had, I left in there and I put her kibble in there. So she should be able to clean this right up. A couple noodles in there. It's kind of warm. See how she likes it. I think she's happy. Hey, you like that? Spoil rotten out here, I'm telling you. <laughs> Spoiled rotten. It was linguine pasta with uh, broccoli, red peppers, Ital hot Italian sausage, mushrooms, onions, zucchini. All kinds of stuff she loves. And then her dog kibble on top of that, and it's all mushy now. Tell everybody you like that. What do you think of it? Might get kissed. <laughs> all right. And yes, folks, I'm gonna clean the pot after. I'll put some soap in it and boil it up on the on the uh, on the stove, and then I'll clean it up. Well, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> something like that Christmas Eve I didn't bring any Baileys for my coffee I forgot maybe Santa will bring me some might be a little bottle under my tree today so I did another episode of that bushcraft made easy Christmas edition <laughs> and I made myself a wreath so for the tent so if you're dying to find out see what it's like there she is look at that thing of beauty <laughs> so be sure to check out that episode to see how this lovely handcrafted wreath was made. Very festive. Anyway, she's getting a bit chilly, so I'm going to have this cup of coffee and then I'm going to take off with Goose for a while. Pound out a couple kilometers on the snowshoes. What do you think, buddy? Yeah? She likes the wreath. <laughs> Well, I smartened up a bit. <laughs> I put uh, I put cedar boughs down all around in here. I was just, like complaining about the mud in here. It's like everything's muddy. This sucks. And I realized, duh, <laughs> you're supposed to line the place with. So I lined it with cedar bough. And guess what? It's nice and dry in here now. <laughs> Whew. Gotta be from Newfoundland. Anyhow, it's Christmas Eve. And we're gonna get our supper going here soon. So I'm gonna start frying up those chicken hearts. 
and then I'll get the stuff ready for the soup. I think one thing that I, I take for granted when I'm out here in the cold is is drinking water, staying hydrated. Usually my first night I'm drinking a few beer and then it's, <laughs> I don't drink much water. The next day you're always doing something and you never really feel thirsty but you really need to drink. You get dehydrated in the winter the same as the summer. So what do we have going on? Bacon, bologna, lots of meals. Might actually be too much for this. Oh, I think I might have overestimated how much I needed. <laughs> See if we can't get enough of everything in there. Lots of potatoes. All the carrots are down the bottom. half a half a bag and I'll save this maybe make it tomorrow or the next night yeah thought I was at home cooking a great big old uh, pot of soup <laughs> so I don't know if you can see that or not but that's a fine looking soup throw that on the boil Put a little extra water in it, I think. Burn that. It's full of chicken blood. I know who would love to have her get her mitts on that. It ain't me. Like a little close up. Mm, that one got a big artery. <laughs> nice. Alright. Alright, folks, there you have it. Get our chicken hearts cooking. A little bit of butter in there with it. That's it. Oh, the stove's starting to heat up nicely now. So we'll fry these chicken hearts up. And add it to our soup. We've got celery, carrots, onions, potatoes, a couple of beef oxo cubes. <laughs> they must have melted already. Alright, so that's it. Christmas dinner. Well, Christmas Eve dinner. You think you're getting some of that? Do you think you're getting some? You know I am. I suppose it's Christmas. <laughs> the stove's going good now. I don't know how bright the camera is. Um, it's getting dark. It's about five, almost five o'clock, so. We've got the chicken hearts still cooking here. You can see them. Chicken hearts. Stew's starting to warm up. Soup's starting to warm up. As soon as I started cooking this, it was almost like a Christmas wish. As soon as I started cooking, it started snowing. Just talking to a buddy of mine, he said we're we're supposed to get almost 20 centimeters. Nice. We'll have to come dig me out in the morning. Beautiful. All this old yuck's gonna be covered in snow tomorrow. Have to go 
cut some more wood. <laughs> Goose is anxiously waiting. Anxiously waiting. <laughs> Well, that's it for now um, I'm gonna have something nice with supper though I don't know if you can see that or not no I'm bringing it outside the wife picked me up that one that pompous ass beer and this one is goose I from goose Highland it's an IPA so I'm gonna have that with Christmas dinner Christmas Eve dinner whatever <laughs> anyway if I don't turn her on again, I'll flip her on on day three. See ya. Well, my friends, it is 7.30, Christmas Eve. Yeah, Goose and I are uh, hanging out. We just had that big pot of stew. It was, uh, it was delicious chicken heart stew. We finished that up hanging out for a little bit now and uh, just relaxing you can see she's uh, she's tired the coyotes have been crazy tonight like there's probably about four groups of them howling goose hasn't been uh, she hasn't quite been able to settle down yet but I'll turn on some uh, some Christmas music or whatever and drown them out and she'll be fine <laughs> so anyway Merry Christmas to everybody I hope everybody's enjoying their families and having a good time hear those coyotes going holy smokes anyway enjoy your families have a very Merry Christmas and we'll see you tomorrow morning Christmas morning we'll see if uh, Santa brought anything for this guy you never know you never know.